Get a mic here. We'll start with Bob. <laughs> uh, CJ's uh, averaging, I guess, over 15 points in the last four games. I know you guys are the, the top two scorers. What, what, what's CJ's scoring emergence meant to you all? Just what, what do you think of the season he's having so far? I think CJ having a great year so far. Uh, I like the way he's shooting the ball. I think he have a lot of confidence. Uh, his, uh, his game, carrying on from practice to the game, is is really good for him and just our team. Um, he's playing at a high level, I think. He's playing with a lot of confidence out there. And, um, he puts in a lot of extra work, so I guess you could say it's paying off. As opposed to that, I mean, obviously teams are going to focus on you guys and, and Anton. How, how important is it to have another scoring, a perimeter score emerge to, to help you guys out, to help the team out? Uh, it's big. Um, he's stepping up to the plate. Uh, this is what he wanted. This is what he worked for. And I think it's, I think it's all coming in, in his hands now. I think it's big for us as a team because uh, I know the scout report is always trying to contain us three, but I don't think he really on the scouting board like that, so it's good for him and us at the same time. He's kind of our secret weapon, so it's good for us. Um, yeah, with the, oh, somebody else here? Go ahead. Oh, the Minnesota game last year, that was early in the year. You guys hadn't been here that long. We're probably still kind of getting used to used to things here. Um, what do you remember about that game? How tough a loss was that? How much How much better do you think you guys each are? You know, after after being here and going through last season and everything, I remember last year was our first road game, and it was just a cold ride, well, a cold flight back home. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> about that, Daryl. Um, we were just starting to get to know each other on the floor, so you really couldn't couldn't blame us for the outcome. Well, you could, but. We couldn't blame us for losing our first road game when we just started playing together. Um, it's a little bit different this year. We started off playing on the road, uh, going to Portland, playing top teams in the country. So we get to play them at home. Hopefully it can be a, a different outcome this time. Yeah, is there a feeling like, hey, let's pay these guys back because they, they, they beat us at their <laughs> place. Now it's our chance to beat them at our place. No, it's another game, Bob. <laughs> Coach Anderson said here the other night that teams have kind of figured out the, a way to play Arkansas is to slow you two guys down. Uh, what form is that taking? I mean, have you noticed how are they playing you differently? And also, how does that help the other guys? Um, they're playing us a lot. Well, me personally, um, they're playing me a lot tougher, and I know they're playing us a lot tougher. Um, we just got to adjust. It's nothing too major. Um, when you, when you come off a good season, I mean, this is what's supposed to happen. They're going to put you on the scouting report, try to stop your best players, best two players, best three players. And you just got to have other guys come off the bench and step up. I think uh, they play us pretty tough. Uh, they just coming out trying to prove a point. I think it, I, we got a good target on our back right now. So we just adjust and everybody step up and make plays. It's not often. I think it's the first time a Big Ten ranked teams come into Fayetteville since I think Michigan maybe like six or seven years ago. And um, Syracuse has been in here. But it's, pre it's pretty rare to have a ranked non-conference team come in here. How, how big a game is this to you guys? How much have you been looking forward to this? Uh, it's a big game. I think um, there's going to be a lot of people there Saturday. I know we excited. Pretty sure the whole city is excited. So I think uh, it's going to be a great game. And hopefully win. We just got to play defense and stay within ourselves. What do you feel about that, Daryl? Uh, another great opportunity. Um, Coming here and just play our game, have fun, um, make the fans proud. And uh, I think it'll be a, a great environment Saturday. You guys were able to overcome the slow start last game, but it's been two games in a row with the slow start offensively. How do you kind of pick that up and, and maybe start differently offensively this game? Uh, we just got to go out there and just play. Uh, I think we've been hesitant on our shots or hesitant on what we want to do as a team out there on the floor, and we're, we're looking at coach to see what, what's next most of the time. And we just got to go out there and play the game the way we know how to play it. I think uh, we just got to just go out there and fight and play hard and just don't worry about what the coach saying or well, listen to what he's saying, not how he said, but just, just play our game and just stop thinking so much. 
CJ, I mean, everybody thinks about him as a shooter or scorer, but um, Coach Ashland was talking about how he's, you know, picked up his defense. I'm not saying he's the greatest defender in the world, but he's picked up his defense. That, you know, he's a little more of a playmaker. How have you guys seen his all-around game improve? Like, how, how is his defense better and just passing and things like that? I think he take it uh, a little bit more with his pride now, because I know I remember last year CJ he was kind of kind of laid back on defense and. Let people push him around, but this year he pushing you around as soon as he like you try to come off screen gonna foul you or something. So I like it. I like the way he playing defense. He do a lot of things for us, and I hope he keep doing it. Um, last year during practice, we put CJ through a lot, so I can I can truly say it paid off for him. Um, going against a good guards, you have no choice but to get better when you practice against people that's physical and aggressive every day of practice. You have no choice but to get better. Darrell, you kind of talked about how you've adjusted to people defending you maybe differently. When, when teams try and take the ball out of your hands on, on screens and maybe trap you or hedge hard, what's that been like adjusting to that? And I guess how do you maybe attack that differently now than when they started doing it early in the year? Um, it's been pretty tough for me these past couple of games, but uh, offense comes and goes, so it will eventually come back, hopefully soon. But. Um, Personally, I just think I have to be more aggressive than, than what I've been doing. i kind of been shying away from the moment. Um, teams bringing their, their best defender at me, and I just, I just got to keep being aggressive the way I was at the beginning of the season. If you guys looked at much Minnesota film yet, if so, what do you think of them? And I guess uh, Nate Mason, you know, he's averaging about four and a half assists and 15 points. Just what, what, do, what do you guys think of Minnesota? Um, we got to respect them. They're the number 14 team in the country. Um, they're a great ball club, well coached, but I think we're just as good as them. I think uh, they're a good team. I mean, they are ranked in the country, so they are uh, They're kind of fast paced, kind of. I know they like to crash the glass and stuff like that, so I think we should contain that. We'll, we'll be all right. Did you guys ever see the tape when Alabama was down to three players? Because I guess some guys got tossed for coming on the floor. And they, did, did you ever see Alabama was playing them three on five? Did you, y'all see that? No. I mean, I've seen some highlights of it, but. <laughs> what, 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 what do you guys think is pretty odd, odd deal? I mean, it, it's basketball. It happens. <laughs> I don't know. They went through that. Now we didn't go through it. They went through it. So ask them how they feel. <laughs> Bob, you're a funny guy. <laughs> That's why you guys are ready in case you get down to three players. You really think we're getting down to three players? <laughs> the funny thing was, I think Alabama was down to 13. Wow. They got with the three. Bob, you're, you're amazing. You're amazing.